hello guys here we are going to see how to repair the bw gas alert ms xt2 for this sensor we have fault front cover back cover o2 sensor lel sensor and dust and moisture filter so we need to replace this all so before that we need to open this sensor for that we need to first remove the dust filter and remove all screws yeah. okay. so, uh, so we will remove like this and here how the pump connection so we just remove the pump connection and this is the vibrator this is the vibrator and this is the pump so we need to remove the o this is the O2 sensor so once we need to remove the O2 sensor we need to remove the board also so we remove the board also so here we can see all sensors this is LEL this is CO this is H2S and this is O2 this is all very easy to remove like this like this chip so we can install like same like this for the O2 sensor we need to push like this and it will come like this this is the O2 sensor Here we are got the brand new one and so we open this one we will install this so we can see the two part this golden part will come here and this is sitting like this okay now it is also fixed this is the brand new LDL so we will replace that LDL also so we need to now remove the LDL sensor remove and we will install the new one okay. so now LDL sensor also fixed so now we will fix the board to the front assembly so before that we need to know this is the display unit and here have one strip this strip will show like this so we need to fix this front assembly to the board we will fix like this and we need to put the screws So we need to put it carefully otherwise it will damage to the board. So we will fix the small screws. So now the board part is fixed now. And before that we need to know this is the battery and this is the pump. So if we need to change the battery, we can remove like this and we will strip out like this so like this we can remove the battery but this uh, dictator know how any problem with the battery so we can replace it back with, with the same and this is also pump unit so pump if any problem with the pump unit we can change like this we will strip out like this so we can separately do like this door also so now we will fix it back because this pump and this battery now have an issue so we will fix we will fix like this we need, we need to make sure this is properly seat or not then only the pump will work 
otherwise the combo will not work. So we need to split in this one like this and for the battery also same keep it like this and strip it so the pump and battery is now fixed and for the uh, new back cover we need to fix so for that we need to remove the old vibrator from the old uh, back cover so it will be like here like this so we need to remove this one and we need to fix it with the new back cover so now we need to fix the back cover and before that we need to fix this hose connection so, this is the full assembly for the VW detector. So, we need to close like this. Now, we need to fix one by one screws. So now we need to fix the filter housing. This is the filter housing. Uh, before that, we need to keep the dust drop filter first. So I keep the dust drop filter first. And now the filter housing, we need to remove the water trap filter. This is the water trap filter, and here you can see dust is inside. So we have this one new. So we replace with the new water trap filter. So it is fixed like this. See now it's already fixed. So now we are going to fix to the sensor. So now the DW multi gas gas at MFXP to finish up. We can now will check like this power off and this is ok and we need to block the pump and we need to unblock and the pump is ok so this is the alarm warning this is also high alarm 50 ppm ok So the cal view is 153 days. So now we change the sensor so we need to do the calibration again. For this calibration I already uploaded my video in my youtube channel. So we need to follow up that. 